Hello, Salesforce Chef here. How are you doing? Are you making progress on your Salesforce journey, gaining new certifications, attending Salesforce community meetups, and covering some trailhead and practicing what you're learning? I hope you're doing all that because you must be a successful Salesforce professional. This will be a video that is very short, just five minutes, dense in content. Therefore, stay with me subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let's get started. Today we're covering a very good topic because I want to talk about top 10 things that an aspiring Salesforce developer should know. This can serve as a checklist for someone who's trying to become a Salesforce developer. Are you ready? Here we go. The first thing that an aspiring Salesforce developer should know is thorough understanding of Salesforce administration. For that purpose, they can attain the Salesforce admin, advanced admin, app builder, sales consultant, and service consultant certifications. So five in total. So, it's the, so that's the first thing. The second thing an aspiring developer should know is SQL. You should know how to run SQL queries in developer console, in your Apex, how you choose what fields to show up, how to choose what filters to use and how you can limit your so-called queries. So that's the second thing. The third thing to know is, of course, Apex. You have to know how to insert records, update records, delete records, how for loops work, what are collections, and the importance of save order execution. So the third most important thing was Apex. The fourth is triggers. What is trigger.new versus trigger.old? What are some best practices with triggers? Number five is debugging. You write code, you get errors. How do you debug? How do you read debug logs? Get used to reading debug logs. Number six, lightning web components. Make sure to do trailheads on lightning web components. Get used to it. Do a couple, you'll get in the habit. Number seven, understand govern limits. What are they? Why are they important? Number eight, learn GitHub. Open up a free GitHub account, pull some repository, make some changes, commit them, push them, merge some branches. Number nine, learn some IDE, such as IntelliJ or Visual Studio Code, and get used to creating projects from IntelliJ, how you can run your code, read, look at the debug logs, pretty much everything necessary to code you can do right from within IntelliJ or Visual Studio Code. So get used to using an ID and same with developer console. Know the full capability of developer console because sometimes you might not have access to uh, IntelliJ on hand. So developer console is very handy. Number 10, master agile terminology. Understand the concept of what is agile. There are about 10 terms you should know, such as scrum, points, sprint, backlog, etc. All right, so this was an express video. I hope you found it useful. Review it. Thank you so much. If you have questions, leave comments. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.